Wow, was that the longest week ever? <laughs> the week is over. Sorry, losing my microphone. The month is almost over. And it was just, the month flew by. Like you have to say, like April flew by really quickly. But man, it just, the month flies by, but the weeks are just dragging. And I don't know why, because the days tend to fly by. And I think it's just because you have nothing to look forward to. I mean, look at this You're supposed to see some, you know, I guess we're, we're looking at the light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, it's just such a long, long tunnel. That's the problem. But interesting news, direct from the source, a friend of mine works for the government, and what's happening, he told me, is that they're working on an app. Okay, grab your tinfoil, fold it into a toque, and put it on, because this is what's happening. We're about to lose a whole lot of privacy, but that shouldn't really matter for the, well, it's going to matter. People are going to go up in arms mode. It's simple as that. But there's going to be an app that will then, like for Android and iOS, and if you don't have a smartphone, you know, you don't have a smartphone, but when it starts detecting your proximity to other phones, it's recording and storing all that data. It's got to go through the cell phone carriers. So you got companies like Rogers and Bell and Virgin Mobile and everybody that has to kind of sign off on this, this privacy aspect of taking this data and sending it back at, well, whoever it is. I mean, you got to get the data somehow. But basically, once the phones get within proximity of each other, a tracing routine will be established, like a database, to say that, okay, let's say I get infected. And I go, well, I go to the doctor, I get the swab, and I officially test positive. Well, then they take my tracking data, and then they start tracing everybody that I've been in contact with and then they contact them so like my wife will get a text message my kids will get a text message if I was within six feet of the cashier at Loblaws they'll get a text message for example so you know that's uh, I guess it's all for the greater good and stuff but here's where it gets a little crazy and that's when they start noticing clusters of people so let's take the city of well, let's go with Collingwood for example my hometown while well, up in that area and let's say that everyone is getting together for a baseball game thinking that you know what you don't really get too close in baseball well that cluster then since it's more than five people and it's concentrated that will pop up send a notice to I guess the local bylaw officers of the police and say hey listen here is a group of people assembling for a non-registered event, sick them, and boom, that's what happens. So now all of a sudden your location is going to be really tracked and along with your personal health information. So yeah, there's a few personal privacy boundaries there that they are definitely, they will be crossing. And is it worth it? I don't know. The thing is we have to reach a certain stage in our community, I guess, where 60% of the people have the virus or have had the virus, and then they kind of cause the tipping point where no one else can get it, if that makes sense. So to kind of bypass the virus, we all have to get it. And it just depends on who it's going to hit the hardest, which would be seniors, or people, you know, with pre-existing conditions that involve respiratory illness. So is it worth it to give up your privacy to save a few seniors? Well, I like to think so. The question is, will they turn it off when it's all done? You know, it looks like taxes were once used to pay for the war and they kept taxing people. Well, now these privacy intrusions are being used to kind of stop the growth of this virus, but will they stop using them in the future? That whole 1984 George Orwell book, you know, when you, uh, they say you got a chip in you, well, maybe that chip is actually your phone and you're willingly carrying it. All right, that is my rant for the day. I have to go walk my dog. Enjoy your, well, enjoy the rest of the month, I guess. This is a little different than most of the videos I make. And uh, sorry, but, you know, not everything's going to be a vlog. Sometimes I'm going to break it the tinfoil and put it on my head and just talk.
All right, got to go walk my dog. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your time. If you like these kind of videos, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button. Go walk your dog. Mm -hmm.